everyone. Thanks for stopping in today. I have a stitch fix. I do think this is 86, if I'm not mistaken. So I wanted to share with you. Uh, stitch fix is a monthly styling box, women, men, and kids. This is obviously a woman's box. I do pay a $20 styling fee. They did not renew my style pass, probably because I don't keep every single box. Like I see some people doing, I just don't get five items that I love that I want to keep. Um, I have in the past, but you know, if you're going to keep on sending me items that I consistently return and state that I don't like, I don't need, then there could ever be a five for five. So, um, sorry, Stitch Fix, but, um, you know, I'm not going to continue to pay a $20 style fee. I'm going to tell you that right now. Buy what you love, send back what you don't. They do provide you with a USPS um, priority mail envelope, like a bag that you can send the items that you don't love back. Um, you have three days to decide. You can ex extend that online. You just go on to the Stitch Fix website. Pretend like you're going to check out and there is an option there to extend your return date. I always do that. I, don't, I think once or twice I use their date. Keep all five items receive a 25% discount. Um, you do check out online. They have a style shuffle every 24 hours on their website where you can thumbs up and thumbs down different items in different categories it might help their algorithm you know get you pieces that you love um, I specifically <clears throat> and you do get a preview and one of the items here I said if you're going to send that to me send it to me in a larger size because a straight t-shirt sometimes I prefer a large if it's 100% cotton I want to wash and dry it a medium is going to shrink or a small is going to shrink and it's not going to be wearable and they didn't follow that stylist note. So, you know, we'll see. And it happens to be this pink top right here. Um, and that's everything there. You do get, let me put this stuff down, an envelope. And you'll have a little card in here, you know, that gives you um, a style note. And then the items with a little style help there if you would like to look at it. I mean, I always look. And then your invoice, which this is fix 86. So right there, I'm just going to, I don't want to look at the pricing yet. So I'm going to turn that over. So we're just going to go right into the items. I did just take the paper off. So these are the items I have. Jeans, a pair of shorts, and three tops. So let's start out with top number one. Cute little bit of like ruching around the collar of like a fluttery fuller sleeve which I don't always mind I love the olive I love the design this is more like baby doll style might be a little too long for me um, I could wear it with leggings like in the fall you know put a cardigan on um, I could even wear this in the winter when it's cold with a cardigan on because I, I, more times than not I'm in when it's super cold out but I, i'm not a fan of always the length things are too a little too long sometimes so that's that and i did see i know that's the one i did not pick these items i chose in the preview oh let me tell you who that is by i'm sorry that was not right of me this is paper moon arbor blouse light green and that is a medium that's more like an olive green so let's fix this I usually am pretty gentle with the clothing. It's not mine until I keep it. Next up is blue. This is weighty. This is from Beacon V-neck rolled sleeve knit top navy medium petite. I did see this and thought, eh, you know, that might not be bad. I could wear this when it's not summertime because it's a little heavier. So here's the, the sleeve. V-neck get that out of the way with the placard down the center which I'm not sure about that but this might be okay I love navy so that's that and this is the top that I asked if you're going to send it could you send it in a large because I'm just not sure and this is from Adidas where's the tag right here um this is light pink medium I don't know what that says what does that say um, w B Love Q three T. Um, the material. This is like one of their like active materials. Ah, oh, there's something on the back. So it's like a little stretchier. 
a little thicker of material it has does have adidas in on the front it's a nice length and this is on the back which you know i don't like but it's okay and that says adidas uh foundation of sport home of the three stripes obviously the three stripes are the three stripes in adidas so this one might be okay but i had something in mind with this top i don't know prices yet and it's these like little biker shorts from adidas and this is w3s bike short black medium you know the adidas stripe little adidas tag you know waistband and this is going to that come down your leg a little bit more i was more thinking for the gym um but we'll see they look nice you know we'll give them a shot with the t-shirt that's what i thought you know even though i probably i would prefer white but not for the gym so i figured the pink and then these i think i said go ahead and send you know i just but they seem so heavy just usa Alyssa barrel jean black size eight right here these are very high waisted. Not a fan of that. Um, it's a wider leg. I'm not a fan of that. And these are going to be way too long. I can tell by the length. When you're overstretching like that, you know, five pocket, zip, all that good stuff. But these um, are probably going to be a no just because the leg is way too wide. I prefer a skinny, um, skinny jean and... Um, they're too long, I can tell by looking at them. So give me just a moment and we're going to come back and we're going to do a try on. Okay, I switched, oops, switched back to this angle. So hopefully you could see more of the tops and even the bottom. So this is the Paper Moon Arbor Blouse Light Green Medium $45. Okay, I don't mind this top at all. I think it would be adorable now. It's a little bit long for me. Um, could I still wear it? Yeah, I could tuck it. I'm just not a person who likes to tuck. So I would probably wear this with more of a legging or probably something like that. What is this? Oh, a tag. Um, like I love the sleeve. It's perfect. Love up here. I just, un you know, a couple buttons undone. I don't mind this because sometimes this like baby doll style is down too low and it like cuts you right in the boobs. This is like far enough up and it doesn't overly accentuate. Now, maybe if you're bigger busted than I am, which the majority of you probably are, um, it might, but not for me. Like everything is perfect, um, except it's just too big. Like this is too much, too big. So this is a medium, is that what I said? I would want to exchange this for a small and then I might be concerned about the fit up here because it fits perfectly. Usually that isn't too, too affected. Like I do have room. So if I were to keep it, which I do like it, I love the, the color. I love anything olive and this would not be bad with leggings because it would be a good length. Now a small would be slightly shorter because they usually are. Um, but there's just, like I said, way too much, too baggy. Uh, that to me is just too sloppy like it definitely needs to be smaller in order for me to be comfortable in it but it's still pretty loose in here so if i keep this one um i would exchange it for a small that's a good uh, next we're going to do this one and this is from beacon so let's give this blue top a try and see what i think so I have the top one from Be Beacon, V-neck, rolled sleeve, knit top, navy, medium, petite, $39. I don't mind it. It's a little too low for me, but easy just to put a few stitches just to close it up just that little bit. I mean, you can do that with this style. Just close it up just a hair. Not much. Um, I don't mind it. I mean, I, I love navy. Obviously, I think the length is perfect. Here's the length. The fit is, is good. I don't, I don't think it's too big. I mean, do you guys think it's too big that I should get a small, I, a medium, like a petite small? I honestly don't know. I think it's the size wise, it's fine. Um, I don't know what the material is. Yeah. Um, cotton spandex. So it might shrink a little bit, which would be okay. 
Um, very comfortable. Um, here seems a little bulky the way that, you know, it's folded over and it is stitched. But like when you close your arms, I can feel all that bulk. But otherwise, it's fine. Um, I do like this. So what are we going to do next? I think I will try this on next and hopefully this is okay. Um, I did quick read my stylist note. He said he couldn't change this to a large because this is the one I asked from a medium to a large. He said, but I went ahead and sent you the medium so then you can exchange it. What? Just send me the large. Like, I, I don't get it. So then I would have to if I like this, send it back and say, I'll take the large, please, and then wait for them to send it. Like, that makes no sense. Why couldn't you have switched it and get me the large? But maybe the medium's fine. I could be totally off. This is uh, regular fit. I don't know what the material is. I'm going to look at the material. I thought this was like all cotton, but maybe I'm wrong. Um. machine washed what's the what's the material I, I can't tell line dry yep. where is the material I don't know I will look but I will try this on and see what I think Okay, so this is the Adidas um, light pink top, medium, $30. That's not bad for Adidas. I think the fit is actually pretty good. I mean, like, comfortable. And there is stretch in it. Perfect length. It's at the top of my legs. There's the back. Like I said, there's, there's definitely stretch. As you can see, there's room. I think the large might have been too big, but I, I'm, I still can't see where the material is. It's on that them pages somewhere I'll look and see I thought this was 100% cotton though but with the stretch there would have to be something else in it um but I like this even just for a plain thing top I like it but what I wanted to do was wear it with these because I'm going to be I signed back up for the gym to go and I'll probably start in September once like a lot of the crowd goes away and I figured I don't always want to wear leggings to the gym so I thought maybe these would be cute, so I will give these a try. Okay, so I hope I'm back far enough so that you can see. I have the shorts on. They're actually pretty nice, and I wanted them with this top to go to the gym. So these are biker short, black medium, $30. So that, that's not bad for Adidas product. So you can see the length. It's like, I don't know, maybe an inch or two above my knee. I don't mind the stripe. There's the back. I mean, I have seen, maybe I have tags everywhere. Maybe not Adidas, but like this style on Amazon. And I think you can get a three pack for about $30. Do I really need the Adidas? I don't know, but I like this set together. So what do you think? Tell me, I mean, I'm obviously not going to walk around outside in the neighborhood or go shopping. But for the gym, I thought this would be cute. Because if I start in like September, October, it still could be 90 degrees out and you're in the gym, you're working out, you're hot. This, I think, would be the perfect like performance tee and then to have because you can't wear denim to the gym. And I have a lot of denim shorts. So I was thinking something like this rather than leggings. Like I could wear Capri leggings, but I figured something like this would be better for the gym. So let me know what you think of the whole outfit and be honest. OK, so I'll be back with the jeans. So the jeans are just USA, Alyssa Barrel Jean Black, eight sixty six dollars Well, that's going to be a no right, right there. Not even necessarily for the price. Um, I'm not always a fan of just USA. I have a pair of shorts from them that I kind of was like, eh, when I got them. And I did keep them. They were from Stitch Fix. And after wearing them a few times, I'm like, I just don't like the coloring of them. I wear them around the house. Obviously, I'm not going to get rid of them. Um, I don't wear them out. So I'm not always a fan of Just USA. Man, trying to close really messes your hair up. So these fit fine at the top. Waist is fine. Zippers on Just USA seem to be so long. These are definitely too high-waisted for me. Like, 
I'm sure it is. It is like the jeans are here. Here's my boot. Like there's no waist. And that will make you look dumpy and frumpy right there. Um, so I don't, they're a little too high. They're, the, the leg is okay. I figured they'd be a little baggier than they are. They're definitely too long, as you can see. And then too baggy at the bottom. I don't like all that. I prefer a skinny jean, a straight jean. Not These are just way too baggy. I mean, they're cute. Um, I don't need black jeans, but, you know, they are okay. Jeans are expensive. If I'm going to spend $60, $70, almost $70 on jeans, I'm going to get Jag or Democracy, honestly. Liverpool in the 70s, I'm not going to get just USA. That's clearly going to not. Full-length pocket, by the way, because sometimes, you know, they're like little tiny pockets. Um, coin pocket, yeah. Except, like this, like I said, the zipper is just way too long. They don't need that much of a zipper. And I guess that's because they're high-waisted. But I have another pair. Like, my Just USA shorts are the same way. And they're not high-waisted. It's just like a super long zipper. And it's almost, like, uncomfortable. Then when you sit, you get, like, that bulk because there's, there's too much zipper. Uh, so, like I said, I'm not a fan of them. But these I'm not a fan of at all. So, let me put my own shorts back on. I don't want to be in jeans. It's, like, 100 degrees. And uh, I'll be right back with my final thoughts. Okay, so let me give you some trip over these cords for these lights. Um, the box information. So this is fix 86. Um, the subtotal is $210. File discount of 25%. I would say $52.50. I have a styling fee credit of $20. That means my order total would be $137.50, which is not horrible with jeans, shorts, and three tops. Um, not going to happen though for the buy all because I am not keeping the jeans. They're just not me. They're too baggy, too long, too high waisted. So that's a no for sure. I do like the pink top a lot. So I am considering keeping the pink top. I do like this. And this is the design. Let me show you. Come up close and show you the design. It's, you know, just a geometrical design. I think it's really cute. Um, let me know your thoughts. Should I exchange it for a small or just pass on it? Let me know your thoughts on this. I like this too. So that's three that I like. And I definitely like the biker shorts for the gym. So let me know your thoughts on those. Do you think I should just say no and get them cheaper like on Amazon? What do you think? But at least it's the Adidas set. So there's the four items that I, or three of the items that I let them send, I really like. And then the ones that they sent, the top, the olive top piece they sent on their own. The black pants I just don't like at all. So let me know your thoughts. Um, they're my thoughts, um, but I'll wait to hear from all of you. I have a different stylist. His name is Michael, so um, not bad. I think he did pretty good. Um, Really, it's the only thing that I would say a no to are the black jeans, but everything else is fine. Pricing-wise, not bad. Um, let me know what you think I should do. I'll wait to hear from all of you. I think I extended this out to the 14th of August. I think till the 14th um, before I have to send it back. So I have plenty of time to read your comments and see what all you know you have to say. A lot of times I wind up retrying something on a second or a third time. Just I'm not sure. I'll try it on again a different day and think, oh, you know, not bad. Or that definitely needs to be a small and things like that. But I would wear that. That print is not um, bad. It's it's abstract enough that it's not like a big floral or, a big, you know, anything. And it's small print. So I do like it. And I love olive. So I'll wait to hear from all of you. Thank you for sticking to the end with me. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye for now.